Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion and Sinvicta play GeoGuessr. I'm Northern Lion, this is Sinvicta. Hello everybody, how's it going today? How you how you been the past couple of years? It's been a while. I know, we're back for the reunion tour. We've been trying out a lot of uh, GeoGuessr mods. The Honestly, the first GeoGuessr Plus mod that I do is going to remove <laughs> the entire continent of Asia. Yeah, definitely Russia, Russia has yeah. to go. <laughs> I hope that planet Earth hasn't changed too much since the last time we played. That's <laughs> going to be really hard to wrap our heads around. Can you imagine? I think that would actually be a pretty neat mod if they made like a Pangea <laughs> GeoGuessr. And you had to pick like where Africa used to be or where uh, the United States like derived from. That'd be that'd be interesting. That might be something educational out there. Unlike normal GeoGuessr, which is just rotting our brain. Yeah, I mean you're not you're not gonna like you're not gonna learn anything from listening to to us too. But one thing I will say is that uh, I, I'm excited to be to be doing more GeoGuessr. Um, it's been it's been a little bit hectic trying to get the schedules realigned and stuff, but with me being you know way more important than, than Northern Lion, it's it's been a hundred percent me. This may or may not be true. Shall we go? I'm gonna we let out. I'm gonna let my points do the talking. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, luck. I think you're up by one game if I if I remember right. correctly. But I I can never trust your uh, your guesses there. Because you try to, like, you pump my tires, and you go, like, oh, I think you're up by two. And then people are like, no, actually, St. Victor's up by one. No, I'm not I'm not trying to, like, sandbag or anything. Speaking of sandbag. There's yeah, no kidding. I'm not I'm not trying to do uh, do anything BM like that. I'm just, I, I'm, I merely have a selective memory that may not be accurate at times. Dude, More like 90% of the time. Are you noticing, like, as we drive here, every single uh, step forward... The car like rocks back and forth yeah. on the Z axis. Like yeah. this, this place needs some reupholstering of these roads, man. Uh, I think "road" is a strong word here. <laughs> it's more like a beaten path. Oh. A little bit. This you should be this a feels like the place. Oh, go ahead. If you like, if you didn't, if you come from a humid part of the world, yeah. and you were to come here, this looks like the place that your skin would just be bleeding at, like. 30 seconds after. Are you seeing this tire standing up by itself? Nope. I I have seen nothing of the sort, you, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, if you traveled... Uh, let's see, what, what way am I facing? You have to go see this. Uh, if, you're, if you're traveling east, I don't know if that's the way you went, but there is a tire trap that looks like it was set by the coyote to catch <laughs> Roadrunner. I'm not even joking. It's on the left side of the road. I don't even know which direction... I mean, right now I'm going west, but okay, you went the opposite. I also yeah. took a 270 degree turn about <laughs> uh, you know 30 seconds ago. So, have you seen? I mean, I I'm seeing some power lines. I've but... seen nothing that can tell oh. me where we where we are. I, I'll tell you one thing: I see water. Um, I've got a sign. Oh no! What? <laughs> what? Wait a minute! Was this the tire trap he's Is... talking about? Probably. Yeah, it's you can't miss it. There's like a big pit. No. There's like a scar in the earth, and then there's a tire buried in the sand. No, this tire was standing up. It looked like it was up. Like it, it looked like it was standing up by itself. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not making fun of other cultures. <laughs> I understand, you know, that there's differences in affluence and ideals and norms and some stuff like that. If there's a big pit in the ground. I want more warning than half of a small tire coated in duct tape. <laughs> Put up some, like, caution tape or an orange traffic cone or something. <laughs> like, a tire with duct tape on the top of it is not enough advance warning. <laughs> I'm gonna break an axle. Oh, man. I, like... <laughs> I, 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 like, for me... <laughs> I'm I'm just picturing what you're trying to see right now, and it's like one of those. It, it reminded me of a South Park uh, uh, skit where they go, the boys go to Afghanistan, and there's mm. like you know they 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 find a building that has like no walls, but there's a door there, and they knock on the door, and the kid you can see the kids walk because there's no walls. They walk to like go open the door. That's what that reminded me of. It's like oh we'll look out for this giant pit. Wait, we got a painted uh, we got a painted tire over here for you. Oh my. God, dude, I've seen the... nothing. There's another scar in the earth <laughs> with another tire. Yo, this place 
This is a law of the fucking jungle, man. I'm thinking somewhere like around here. Like it's got to be like far here, but oh, 17 seconds left. I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop. Oh fuck! I'm gonna drop my guess right towards the southern portion. I was in. Oh wait, no, I was correct. You were way incorrect. Yes. Yeah. How how'd you I, do on that one? I got four thousand five. Oh fuck! I went south Argentina. What? made you yeah. go to Argentina. It was the sign. I thought we were in Mexico too until I saw the sign. I was like, okay, that's Portuguese. I gotta be honest, I saw some rocks that uh, looked like they were from Breaking Bad. So I was <laughs> oh, like, yeah? we gotta be in Mexico. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Well, because that, <laughs> let's be honest, that didn't look American. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I know, I didn't see the so rocks. So I was like, well, okay, we're in we're in a international New Mexico, so Mexico seemed like a pretty plausible guess. Dude, thank God I used to watch The Shield as well, because there's a uh, there was a character in uh, in that series whose name was Roca. Michael Chiklis. And he was from, yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was Vic Mackey, uh, but yeah, he was from South America and part of the Bra Brazilian mafia. I've, I've it's been a while since I've seen that episode. Anyway. It's really weird because Michael Chiklis is American. Yeah, except I'm not talking about Michael Chiklis, okay? I'm not talking about the commish, all right? <laughs> I, I seriously doubt anyone ever watched the commish other than probably me. Are you a big fan of Michael Chiklis? Yeah, I think he's a great I, actor. Dude, you're going to think I was... Have you seen any signs yet? I've seen one, but I can't read it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you too much, but I was like, man, this really looks like here... And I was going to say it, now that I've seen information, I can't tell you um, what I saw, what I was thinking, because I was right. Okay. So. <laughs> it's, it's not very helpful for you, but no, no, you do I'm have not, a 4,000-point <laughs> lead right now because of uh, <laughs> us getting dropped off where they filmed The Martian, so. The only sign I've seen said Whirlpool Caution. I did see that. I think, it, uh, I think it's Whirlpool Canyon. Canyon? Yeah. Are you sure? It looked like caution. Well, me. maybe it's caution. Well, what are you going to do? Drive into a whirlpool accidentally? I don't know. It seems much more likely you'd be like, hey, kids, there's Whirlpool Canyon. We're almost there. I see a blue and white sign. That's going to give usually... you some info. Is it, though? Yeah, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna like what you see there, I think. Am I? Because I can't, I can't make out what it says on there. Oh my god. Okay, so at this exit, there's gas, food, lodging, a campsite, and the internet corral! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you think is the most popular thing? Yeah, wh knowing what you do about these surroundings, yeah. what do you think is the most, the most number one searched internet term in the internet can corral over there? Probably, like, something dirty. <laughs> well, let's elaborate here. I'm trying to trying to get a feel for where we are. Oh my god, what happened to this truck? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought the truck was like wrecked. Well, that oh, blue well, white sign, dude. I hit an end. Yeah, I went one direction. I had to turn around. Okay, we found another blue and white sign. Wait, 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 wait. Was that in miles or kilometers? Because yeah. I was thinking Canada when I saw the first blue and white sign. Oh, think, there's no denomination. I think you're on the sign that says Internet Corral on the bottom of it now. No, that one said Coal River. Oh, I've hit it. I've I've hit the end of the road. Apparently, how did you? I found another dead end going the opposite way. Where did you go? Yeah, dude. No, no, no. I I think you just hit one dead end, and I hit the one that you just hit. And I just hit the one you did, but I never saw Internet. It's Did on I? the it's on the Coal River sign. Really? I gotta go back and look at this. We have 18 seconds. I have no freaking idea where we are. I'm going to assume that we're somewhere in Canada is based on the blue signs. Oh, I don't know fuck. how you're able to. I'm not sure how you're able to read that. Oh, oh, oh Internet Corral. I see it. I see it. It's like <laughs> catty cornered on the bottom there. I was gonna say somewhere in like right there. Uh, we were basically equidistant. Fuck. You got you got me by two hundred and thirteen points. 
Why was it so north? Good lord, yeah. It's so north! I would expect that place just to be a barren, frozen wow. wasteland, which is not true at all, because it's I've been to Alaska. So. Yeah, it would be in the winter, though. I'm gonna, I gotta give that one a one. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, Canada. There were I, so many signs. There was a I sign. Could... There was a sign that said "Province of British Columbia." So, I, I, but I don't. I I was not able to read that. I could not make out what that sign said. The only thing they gave it away that was Canada was that it was blue and white. We do. That's that's our national colors up here. Yeah, you ever look like at the Canadian white, flag? Right? It's just <laughs> when uh, Brad Robertson of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Or <laughs> Brad Robertson of the Crash Test of the, Dummies. That's what I mean. Of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That would have been a hell of a double bill back in the day. <laughs> yeah, Crash Red, Test never... Dummies and Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> what I got to do to That's That works better, I'll admit. <laughs> Once there <laughs> was a southern state. If it's a seed, it would have the sixth largest economy on planet Earth in the forest. Take me on to the other side. <laughs> Take me on. Uh, I've seen one sign that had cows on it. That yep. was it. Yep. This is a landmark uh, day for GeoGuessr. Yeah, we're we're rocking. I'm at 67.63, by the way. 31.38. Not unattainable. Not unattainable, I'll admit. And certainly not unobtainium, which is the... Right, Avatar. Yeah, I made that joke in an Isaac episode, and I don't think anyone got it. Yeah, I mean, that movie only made like a billion dollars, so... Yeah, it was only like the <laughs> most watched of all time. I mean, like, for me, Avatar was... And I, I don't know if I've, I've gone into this tangent before, but for me, Avatar was like... The movie was Garbo, but the experience of seeing it in IMAX 3D, that was my first ever 3D movie, and... Yeah. I was blown away. I was like, "This is the this has got to be the future of movies." You know, I've still it was never incredible. seen Avatar. Actually, you're not missing much for on a movie standpoint. But if they ever do a re 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 release <laughs> in 3D, you got to go see it. You got you have to experience it. Like like it's I said, just, the movie. Well, that was garbage. the problem. Is that like it came out and everyone was like, "If you're going to see it, you have to see it in theaters." And then yeah. I didn't see it in theaters. And then when it came out on DVD, everyone was like. Well, I don't want to watch it. I already saw it in theaters. You, and then when I tell out. people about it, they're like, you didn't see Avatar? Does it? How does that even make... Well, because you, you made it impossible to see it. I've got to be honest with you. Avatar in the theater was one of the best film experiences I've ever had. But, again, keeping in mind that the plot was completely non-original... <laughs> Like if you if you've seen the Last Samurai, you've seen Avatar. You've, I have you've seen not Ferngully, you've seen, seen Avatar. the Last Samurai. What? That's what is that? That's not that weird. <laughs> Come that's on, best, that's his best movie. <laughs> that's not Tom Cruise's best movie. It absolutely is. Like for me Magnolia, anyway. dude. I mean, it was okay. Oh come on, Last Samurai is really, really damn good. If you, uh, I that is one that you don't have to see in 3D. I will let you see that one not in IMAX 3D. By the way, have you seen anything other than the cow sign? Because uh, I, I think I know what country we're in. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a problem here because I don't. I'm shifting through between North America, South Africa, and Australia. I think and with one the, of those is probably correct. With the fact that like I'm not able oh, to fuck. find, <laughs> I'm not able to see like anything. I gotta. I'm. <laughs> Where are you going, Sir Victor? I'm going to Australia. Just just winging a guess here. Yeah, I was incorrect. No. You uh It was Australia, dude. Oh, it was oh, I keep I keep seeing yours. Okay, well, yeah, I got twenty three hundred and ninety-eight points. Yeah, I got twenty seven full stop. <laughs> I, I saw a sign, it was extremely blurry, but I was like, dude, those are the road signs for South Africa. I got it. What? And then when I clicked south africa and i saw that it was in australia i was just i've tilted off the face of the Heart, planet heartbreak well south african signs are written in yellow font on green that I, that's the sign i saw there was oh really it must, okay. be, this, yeah, it must throw... be the same in australia 
That would have that would have thrown me off. Well, obviously it is. Hey, we're in your neck of the woods. This is like what are you talking this about? This is like your natural surroundings here. What are you? You're out of your freaking mind. You're, you're like <laughs> you're back at home now. You're gonna see a sign and you're gonna you're gonna regret those no, words. No, I still even after that sign, I'm still pretty sure you're in your neck of the woods. <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna drive around for the next three and a half yep. minutes because uh, you know I'm gonna say that we're up there. I'm just sightseeing. I mean, this is like it's. I like the way this looks. I wouldn't want to live here, yeah. but I, I do like looking around. I'm like, this is a cool looking place. Do you know how what the high is today in in Houston? What? Take take a wild guess in in Fahrenheit in Celsius. In, I'll, I'll okay, do in Celsius. Is it cold or or hot today? Uh, it, it is unseasonably warm. Okay, I would ridiculously say ridiculously warm. The high today is going to be like 77 Fahrenheit. No, hotter. No, it's it's 88 today. Holy Christ. Yeah. Last week, we, we were down in, like, the 30s. But now, like, I swear to God, we did not get one single day of winter in the, we, in the past two years. And that bums me out so much because I hate being hot. I'm over being being hot. Well. We get, we get 364 days of it a year. I'm ready for, like, I just want one of my really cold, really dreary gray days. Just give me, like, 30 degrees outside. And I'm there. I'm I'm all about that. We haven't had that in like two years now. If it makes you feel better, we have like the most ridiculous winter in Vancouver history, where we're just getting snow all the time. We never get snow. Now we're getting Vancouver? snow all the time. Yeah, we we get snow like maybe once a year, once every two years. Really? Yeah, I, I did not know that. And this year we've had snow like twelve times, and it's hell. And for those of you who are who are uh, on the metric system, thirty-one. It's about thirty-one degrees. Yeah, Celsius. I mean that's hot. Yeah, for, especially for the winter. Like, yeah, it's February seventh. Like, what the heck? Uh, there's just nothing out here. Thank God we saw that sign because I would think that we were somewhere in Sweden or something. Well, I gotta be Norway. honest with you. Like, I see a sign. It's in Russian. Mm-hmm. Underneath it, it's written. I don't want to say it's in English, but it's in the English character set. You know, uh, you're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look at your point of view because I've not seen that song. You know, like I, I've just Rus- been aimlessly driving. Russian is written in Cyrillic, right? This is written in the English alphabet. Why would they have that? Exactly. In I'm. That's I'm trying to run it through my head right now that there must be like maybe there's a lot of foreign workers that come to this place. I don't know uh, why I am speaking like this now. Uh, <laughs> We're in French Camden. Now. I've been so confused. Well, uh, I have. I mean, this place looks like it's almost permanently frosted. So holy if it, shit! If it isn't Russia, it's got to be far north Russia. I'm just I'm taking a complete guess. We were basically equidistant from each other. It was Mongolia. It was in Mongolia. What? This is the worst round of GeoGuessr I've ever played. What? If we just got done making fun of the people before we started recording, like, oh, look at yeah, this guy over six thousand points. Wow. Yeah, why? Even... At... <laughs> I would just Shrek quit GeoGuessr forever if I only got six thousand points. Shrekman sixty nine got sixty six hundred points. Good job, Shrekman. It's oh not actually his real name, but I'm at I'm only at uh, ten thousand. Well, 10, you you are on, actually unbeatable now. I'm at thirty eight sixty one. Oh my god! But I know where we are in this one already. Yeah. This is what? No, I mean I know where we are. <laughs> like what? I to within five hundred points for sure. How? But well, all I'm going to say is, if this is what it takes for me to get good at Brazil, is realizing that, um, you know, it could be fucking worse. Guess I'll uh, accept did you, it. Did you, see a, did you see a road sign? Oh, I saw a lot of valuable information, Simvicta. Saw a lot I mean, of I kn- valuable information. I know that we were in, uh, I know that we were in Brazil, but... Saw a lot of valuable information, buddy. Okay, you you must have seen something that gives you the state. Tell you straight up that I've seen some valuable information. Are we in the state of Rondonia? That's not even a state. 
You want a state? Louisiana. Dude, that that would be that would be my my porn star name right there. Louisiana. Ron no, Rondonia. <laughs> Rondonia, Louisiana. Yeah. That's but you have to long. say it with a you have to say it with a long O though. Rondonia. For the, yeah, for the emphasis on the Don. the long O. <laughs> you got you got my drift there. Oh, I see ya. Um oh, Okay, 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 oh yeah. Hold on, I need to do some I need to do some triangulation. Okay. Take all the time you need. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get something on this one, okay? <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm rooting for you this time around. It hasn't Welcome been a great performance, <laughs> to be honest with you. R O. R O has gotta be Rondania. Oh shit, I fucking lost it. Where was that place? <laughs> I had it. Yeah, because because the Sul is R S. How many? Like, look, Brazil. I'm not trying to offend you. How many fucking governors and presidents have you had? Or am I misreading? Like every town is named like Governor, you know, Jorge Teixeira, <laughs> Governor, you know, Roberto Scalana, and I'm like, dude, that's too many governors. All your cities are named after people. Actually, you know what? Like all of our cities are. I'm named pretty after sure. People. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure all of our cities are named after people. Vancouver is named after George Vancouver. That's that's such a that's like the name George. You always... got a problem? <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. Glass, no, glass always... houses, my friend. No, I always feel like when I hear when I hear the word the name George, I always think of like King George. Like it's got to be English. Like from England, the he, actual England. Well, he was from the actual England. George Vancouver? Yeah. Really? Yeah, probably. Okay, I have found the state. I, I was correct, by the way, in the state. I'm just trying to look for the road. I mean, I, I found the road, but I actually don't think that that is the keys to the kingdom here. I see 135. I'm looking for 140. Oh, I know. I'm aware. I don't think that gives you as much as as much as I originally thought it did. Unfortunately. Well, I see Governor Hor. Oh, there it is. I see 140, but... Uh... Okay. Now I gotta look at the cities that I'm looking at saying. Jorge Texier. Oh, yeah, that's that's it's right here. Ah, yeah. I ran out of time, but <laughs> I, did, I did place a guess. I, I was gonna like move right us there, closer, right? but the guess was fine. That was, as far as Brazil goes, that was okay. Uh, I still beat you on that guess. Forty nine hundred and two. I would have. I would have gotten closer. closer. People can. Yeah. People will look on my screen and they will say he could have been closer. I I got to give that one a five because it, that even though it's Brazil, yep. no offense, Brazil, it gave us everything that we needed to to win. I oh also gave it a five. <laughs> look at your guesses. You know what, Simvita? Welcome back, everybody, to GeoGuessr World's yeah. Worst Roads Edition. Um, <laughs> did you enjoy Northern Mongolia? Did you enjoy Northern no. British Columbia? How about, um, you know, the armpit of Argentina? <laughs> and then, you know, Australia with a Nikon Cool Picks built in the 1980s. <laughs> and, uh, you know, then the Brazilian guess was fine. Anyway. For, the, for once. For you once. win. Thanks for Thank watching. You. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Watch it at the same time, and you can see what we're laughing at in real time without having to switch back and forth. And no matter who you're watching, if you enjoyed the episodes, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, we'll see you next time. See you later.